On this video, I wanted to review and debrief a flight I did IFR into Auburn, specifically the holding instructions that I got at Sitzkew waiting for another aircraft to clear the protected area. So I'm not a CFI, I'm just sharing some of this information. Those of you that uh, have a GTN 750 or want to uh, learn how to use a GTN 750 might like this feature. Pete, be sure to tell Paul to watch this video because I'm sure it's going to come in for him. I don't have the luxury of flying a simulator and hitting the pause button and then going to the microwave and get my microwave hot dogs out of the microwave for dinner and then come back for the flight. Uh, my flying is all practical and in real time. So sit back and uh, ride along for this one. I departed Oakland on the 315 heading. They gave me 050 to intercept the airway but kept me on that heading for traffic. I turned back to intercept the airway at Collie, and they said, well, just go ahead and go direct to the VOR at Sacramento. Then, right around here, I was halfway between Rossi and Siskiyou. They gave me hold west instructions of Siskiyou, which I did. Went around the hold once, came back inbound, picked up the approach, and went to Yadfi, which is the final approach fix, and landed Auburn. Let's start with the actual approach plate. Here's the approach plate for the RNAV 7 approach into Auburn. Now you can see where I circle in red, no procedure turn when you're coming in from Rossi to Siskiyou, so I wasn't expecting it. Here's the orientation, north, east, south, west. I was coming in from the south. It's very common to come in from the east, especially if you're visiting beautiful South Lake Tahoe. When you do come from that side, it ask you if you want to fly the course reversal. The big red arrow on the right shows the course reversal in the flight plan on your GTN 750 and the left shows the course. Let's go right to the actual flight. Here's the video where the controller gave me direct to Siskiyou and then gave me the hold instructions. Golden Eagle 3 Sierra Julia procedure at Sitsu and hold west of Sitsu as published. Maintain 3,000. Expect further clearance in about five minutes. Waiting on one IFR aircraft inbound to Auburn at this time. Okay, 3 Sierra Julia, we'll plan on holding at Sitsu uh, to the west and uh, expect clearance in five minutes at 3,000. 3 Sierra Julia. Here I go to the flight plan and I'm expecting to see the hold with the course reversal that you get when you come in from the east, but it's not there and I'm barreling toward Sitsku, and he said hold west at Sitsku. so I go ahead and draw the hold up to hold west of Sitsku. It's not exactly as it is on the chart, but it's darn close. Here is the difference. So I had just over a minute at that point to put in the hold, so I couldn't sit there and take my sweet time to figure out how to draw the a published hold, so here's what I drew depicted here in a red circle. Southwest 2814, descend and maintain 5000. All right, 5000, so southwest 2814. So we're going to do left turns to hold to the west. Okay, we're good. We get a hold today. Who is going into Auburn? So the controller wanted me to hold west so that. I wouldn't be in the protected area and the other aircraft was on the approach. You can hear him coming into play here right about now. Kylie, nine or two, zero, four miles from front, so it looks like November 20503 is uh, inbound to Auburn. You can see here I'm about to enter the hold. Damage at 893, turn right hitting 340. Right turn hitting 340, damage at 893. Gamma 893, we could take the approach from Marysville if you can give it to us. Gamma 893, order clear direct Marysville. Direct Marysville, Gamma 893. Alright, correct. And here we start the hold. So I'm in the hold, expecting to go around a couple times while the other aircraft either lands or calls in and cancels. Uh, but no, the controller calls up and says uh, you can uh, head inbound now. So here's his instruction. Number three, Sierra Julia, on your way back in, whenever you're uh, to, you can plan on proceeding inbound from there. 
Okay, so after once around the hold, we'll uh, head inbound. Is that correct, 3 0 Juliet? Over 3 0 Juliet, affirmative. Once you're making the inbound turn, I'll give you your approach clearance as well. Okay, uh, did 20503, did he cancel already or did he uh, get in? Over 3 0 Juliet, he's planning on coming back on the published miss. I just had to give him some time to make sure he can get out. Okay, uh, we'll plan for that, 3 0 Juliet. Over 20503, Norcal. 20503, we're on the miss. Uh, we made it in, but still elected to go miss. Number 20503, Roger, IDENT, Sacramento Altimeter 3024. 3024 and IDENT, Roger, 3. So you hear the aircraft in front of me said that he could have got in, but he elected to go missed. So that gave me some indication that the weather at Auburn was good enough to continue the approach and land. So I continued. Number 503, radar contact, four miles northeast of the Auburn Airport, say altitude and request. Down altitude 3,700, would like to request uh, vectors back to McLeod, 503. Number 20503, I don't have that shortly. And 3 uh, Sierra Julia, will spacing allow us to go direct to Yadfi now? Number 3 Sierra Julia, affirmative. 3 Sierra Julia, thanks. Number 20503, advise of the one minute weather at McCollum, say request. All right, here we go. Here's a depiction of those instructions. There I was in the hold, asked for direct to Yadfi, was granted direct to Yadfi, and here's, of course, route that it took. You can see it with the red line with the two arrows. All right, so let's get back to our approach. Number 503, you just on getting our canceling as you get closer? Number 503. All right, we're going to head to Yadfi now. We got thrown off a little bit with that hold. Oh, we got a hold in our logbook. All right, so let's get ready okay, for this approach. We have the weather over at uh, Lincoln. Damage at 893, Roger. We are, we're inbound now. We're going to arm the approach. Got our diamond coming up, so uh, let's do the old uh, gas. Pop a gumps. Pressurization check. Air conditioning never had it on. Prop sync never on. Three, Juliet, maintain 3,000 until establishing the final approach course. Cleared on runway 7 approach, Auburn. And here we start to hold. Here's a front window look for all that we just talked about. This portion is sped up eight times. You can see we're going around the hold and then we're going to get the instructions to go inbound. And this is what the weather looks like. It's the moisture that just kind of hugs the foothills, sticks around. It was improving. As you can see, it's getting a little bit broken and the plane in front of us got in. So we'll just keep this look as I'm going in. Now I'm heading for Yadfi to pick up the final approach and uh, descending out of probably right around here about 2,500. There's my correction at Yadfi inbound and let's, uh, let's listen to the rest of it. 2,000. Nineteen sixty. Airport in sight. Full flaps. Norco five one three Sierra Juliet Airport in sight. Auburn cancel IFR. Number five one three Sierra Juliet. Thanks IFR cancel. Minimums. IFR. Minimums. Thanks a lot. Okay. Good. All right. Gas check on the carriage. Got three grains. Mixtures up. A little fast. Speed brakes. But wait. There's more. Let me show you how to enter it properly now that I have time to do it. So I'm going to pick this video up right about where I got my holding instructions halfway between uh, Rossi and Sitsku. 6.8 DME is where he first told me. So if you're coming from the east, say like from Lake Tahoe, South Lake Tahoe, and you choose the approach, it asks you if you want to fly the hold in the course reversal. I was expecting it to do it this time, and here is what I should have done. This is the simulator that I set up. So you go over to SITSQ, you say you want to hold at the waypoint. So from top to bottom here on the GTN 750, what I did is I said I want to do left turns and hold to the west as I was 
instructed to do. This is the west with Auburn being to the east. What I should have done was tell the course of the inbound course of 068 and then tell it to do right turns. That would have been depicted low the hold. Now the, 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 the hold is depicted as it would be on the chart. So that's how you load the hold into the GTN 750. It is south. What confused me was you can see the, the hold is on the south side, but I was told to hold west. And so I put the hold in to the west side. And what I found out from my CFI is that you're always using the fix as a reference point. So that would be the inbound. So you can see now how it would fly it correctly when you enter it in the way I just described. Pull this out and you can see how it's going to fly. I'm not going to stay here and let it do the whole thing, but that shows also how little time I had, because this was all done in real time, to try to figure out how to load the hold. So when the controller said hold west, I knew he wanted me in the protected side away from the uh, protected area where the other aircraft was, and so that's what I did. Everything, everything, that's all, folks.